Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about how to use start method to talk about our data science project in an interview. Let's be honest. If you practice, it can be easy to communicate well in those intense 30 or 60 minute tech interviews. So let's get started. What is the star method? This is situation, task, action, and result. This method helps you organize your answers to cover all the crucial parts of your data science project. First is situation. So here, start by explaining what your project is about. Describe the problem you are trying to solve. Now consider you work on a data science team at a bank and your goal is to improve the bank's ability to spot credit card fraud. The organization needs a more powerful solution to protect its clients as generally they see an increase of fraudulent transactions. In this section, explain the background of your project first. Describe the detail, the difficulty you encountered. Your work is to make a model for detecting fraud that can look at credit card transactions and flag anything that might be fraud. The goal is to reduce the number of false positives, which are real transactions, that are mistakenly leveled as fraud. Now, for example, I can say that I used a machine learning algorithm to look at how customers behaved, did some exploratory data analysis, and made models that could predict what would happen next. To solve this problem, you started by putting all together a set of past, real, and fake credit card transactions. You used a Python tools like Pandas, Scikit-learn, and boosting algorithms to pre-process the data, then doing some feature engineering, and finally, building a machine learning model to evaluate them. For creating interactive visualizations, Tableau is great, right? So for an in-depth discussion on how to use Tableau to create visuals, you can use to identify the credit card frauds, right? So you can start by saying you created a transaction amount, their distribution, showing fraudulent and legal transaction amounts with a histogram. Now this can show if the two groups are extremely different. Then you can create a daily line chart of fraud and legitimate transactions. This can determine if the fraud is more likely at a certain period of time. Now next you can explain different kind of trend or a heat map for feature relationships. See how transaction amount or the time during day that relate, you can say all this using a graph. Now this can help you identify the fraud detecting qualities. Lastly, a ROC graph show how well a machine learning model works. They generally highlight the trade-off between true positives, false positives, accuracy, and recall. Lastly, result. How did your actions improve the overall project or business? You can say that your boosting model's performance was excellent. Maximum accuracy was achieved with a success rate of 97.6% on the test data. Now, when this model was implemented into the real-time transaction processing system, the financial institutions saw a significant drop in fraudulent transactions. Customers' faith increased and we have saved plenty of dollars. Now, a few tips. Practice your STAR method before going for an interview. Write down all the projects, their STAR stories, you know, that you would like to discuss. Also, take the time you take to respond. To highlight the relevance of your work, provide some quantitative information whenever possible. Be sure that you provided some examples that highlight both your experience and the qualities the business is looking. That's all. That's all I have got for you guys. So 
how to use the STAR method to succeed at interviews for data science projects. Now, keep in mind that uh, you need to show your knowledge and potential. So please let me know if you found this helpful. Keep researching, analyzing, and mastering those interviews. All the best. Take care.